Silek is here doing the Diablo 3 themed SteelSeries headset review part 3. This one will focus on the actual software suit that comes with it. Here in a second I'm going to flip the camera around so you can actually see it. Now when you actually open up the box you'll realize that it doesn't come with a CD set. So if you go to their website and go to the product you can download it there. Now SteelSeries software actually wraps them all into one. So you, uh, if, if you downloaded it for the Sensei or another product and it requires them to use the SteelSeries software, then it'll automatically recognize it. You may have to update, but anyway, go to the website to do that. So without further ado, let's turn this around. So here in front of you, you can see the Diablo 3 themed SteelSeries engine filmed in 720p. Sorry, I'm still waiting for my camcorder to arrive. So until then, you get to look at it like this. Sorry. So first off, uh, something unique about SteelSeries Engine is that it takes all the devices that are SteelSeries and lumps them into one clean interface. Along the top you can see Devices, Settings, Properties, News, Profiles and Equalizers, Illumination, New Profile, Cancel, Save, and obviously Return to your default settings. Under Properties you can choose a profile name as well as Trigger Games and EXEs. A little more on that later. So for your equalizer, you have five bands, bass, mid-bass, mid-range, mid-high, and highs. Here you can actually choose your frequency, and you can increase them or lower them depending on the like or whatever your application you're using them for. For instance, the human voice generally falls in this range right here. So turning these up may help make sure your voice comes clear whenever there's a lot of background noise going on, as well as perhaps when you're listening to music, wanting to tweak it so that you can hear the cymbals crash a little bit more or maybe perhaps the bass in a pop song or a rap song a little bit more coming through here. Now, one of the other things to do is to compensate for the fact whether you're male or female. Males tend to hear highs a little less than women, and women tend to hear bass um, a little less than men. So turning them up may help compensate for that, as well as age, since when you get a little bit older, you tend to not hear uh, your very high highs as well. So uh, tweaking that up maybe helps you a little bit. So, let's say you're going to set up a music profile. So you go here, you set this up, you go to properties, now you go to your trigger games, select VLC, Windows Media Player, whatever it is you like to listen from, double click on it, hit open and save it, and then go down to the bottom hit save. Now every time you open up VLC, iTunes, any of those other programs, it'll launch for you. So that way you can uh, not have to go through and mess with your equalizer every time. Now. Under illumination, you have that red color that beams off the side of your headset. You can turn it off, you can turn it to low, medium, or high for intensity levels. Under pulsation, you can have steady, which means it's constantly on. It doesn't turn off, just always there. Slow means it turns on and off slowly. Medium, fast, you get the idea. And then trigger, which basically anytime it has sound, it triggers it to flash. So whatever you're listening to, whether it be music or game sounds, it makes this cool, eerie kind of flashing sort of candle flicker on the, the uh, three slashes and on the actual ring around the headset itself. It's a pretty cool experience. Make sure after any change you make that you hit save and go on your merry way. Once again, this is Silicus, and you're looking at the Diablo 3 themed Steel Series engine. If you got any questions, leave me some comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to know what's going on next. I hope you enjoyed this three-part series. This is Silicus, over and out.